In this tutorial, I'm going to georeference a Google Earth image from Google Earth Pro in QGIS. So the first step is uh, saving the image from Google Earth Pro. So first I'll zoom into the area of interest. And after you zoom into the area of interest, uh, first you should make sure that you are getting a top view. To get the top view, go into view, reset, and click on tilt and compass. So it will change the image to a top view. And after that, go into file, save, and save image. And here it will give you this uh, map title and legend and we don't need the title and the legend. So I'll remove that. And we should make sure that we are saving the image in maximum resolution so that it is easier to identify features once we import into QGIS. So I will select maximum resolution and then save the image. So now we have saved the Google Earth image and just for demonstration purpose I'll try to import that image into QGIS and see what happens. So first I'll get a base map and uh, import the image that we saved. So this is the image that we saved and uh, I'll import that into QGIS. Let's try to zoom in and see. So you can see that uh, when I imported the image into QGIS, it gives a question mark saying that the layer has no coordinate reference system. So this is exactly why we need to georeference this image. So if we zoom into this image, you can see the image, but it is not, uh, not anywhere on the base map. So it is, it is not projected correctly and uh, this is why we need to georeference the image. So now I'll, I'll remove this layer and uh, I'll keep the base map and I'll actually zoom into the same area of interest. So this is the same place that we took the image from Google Earth. Uh, so that uh, we can use the base map as a reference. To start your referencing, first go into layer and your referencer. So in previous versions of QGIS, this uh, was your referencer came as a plugin. So in that case, you have to go into plugins and install uh, your referencer separately. But in recent versions, uh, it is built into QGIS so that you can access your referencer under the layer menu. So once you go into your referencer, it will open a new window. So this is a separate window from the QGIS main window. And uh, we can import our image by clicking on open raster. So this is the image that I saved from Google Earth Pro. So I will select that imported and import into georeferencer. Now we can start adding points. So in this first method of georeferencing, we are using the base map from QGIS as a reference layer. And uh, when georeferencing image, it is always better to add uh, points at the four corners so that uh, it uh, helps in accurate georeferencing. So I will first zoom into the upper right, upper left corner and try to find a georeference point and try to find a reference point that is that we can find in the uh, base map. We can see this building in the base map so that so we can use that as a reference point. 
So to add reference points, click on add point and click on the image within the georeference window. And once you click, it will open a new window. And here you have to select the coordinate system. So in our case, we are using the base map from QGIS. And so if you go into the If you go into QGIS, you can see the coordinate system. It is WGS 1984 pseudo Mercator. So that is the same coordinate system we should use. So I'll again click here. And the pseudo Mercator coordinate system is already selected. Then I will click this button so that I can use the base map as a reference layer then I will zoom into the same point and click on the base map so once I click on the base map you can see these boxes are automatically filled with the coordinates from the base map and then I will click on OK so once you click on OK you can see at the bottom of the georeference window that uh, within the ground control point table you can see one point has been added and you can see the point on the image likewise you can add more points to georeference the image we can use this building as our second reference point so i will click again here and click on from map canvas and click on the same map point on the base map click on ok and make sure the point is added and move on to the next corner it is always good to use these buildings when georeferencing because uh, very rarely these buildings move for example if we use vegetation they can change over time but uh, structures like buildings they don't change over time so we can use this building to as the third reference point and then we'll move on to the last corner as the last reference point we can use this building as well okay so now we have added uh, four points so normally at least you should have four points to give reference image and if you need to increase the accuracy of your georeferencing you can add more points and after adding the georeferencing points you can click on this start georeferencing button and it will give you a message to give your file name click on ok and here you have to select some settings so you you have to select the transformation type you can keep it as linear if you are not specific on any other type uh, and the target georeferencing system so it has already by default selected the pseudo mercator which is the same coordinate system of the base map and uh, we can give a name and a place for the output file and select the resampling method so in general we use the nearest neighbor after giving all those settings you can click on ok and to start your referencing again click on the start your referencing button so the image is now georeferenced so what we can do is uh, close this window and we can save the points for future use And after that uh, you can see the image has been automatically added to QGIS so if I you can see the image is added and if we use the base map you can see the image has been correctly your reference
So this method of georeferencing is uh, very easy and uh, quicker. But uh, sometimes this method is not practical when, uh, when we cannot uh, find reference points on the base map. So in those instances, we have to use the second method where we have to manually enter the coordinate numbers. So for example, if we go into the Google Earth and if we use a historic image from Google Earth Pro. So this is the image from 2005. And uh, in most instances, the things on the land would have changed over time. So it would be hard to find reference points from the current base image. So I'll use this image to demonstrate the second method. So in this method, when we save the image, we have to add control points. So we can add place marks uh, as control points and it is better to choose a suitable symbol. So I, we can use a symbol like this and we can add the control points at the four corners. So when you move this placeholder, you can see the coordinate numbers are changing. So we have to keep a note of these coordinate numbers. So this is my first control point. And likewise, I'll add control points to the four corners of the image. Okay, now I have added all the four control points and now I will save the image. But before saving the image, we should make sure that the image is from the top view. So we'll go into view and reset the image. Then we'll make sure the image is saving in maximum resolution. Then we'll save the image. Okay, the image is saved and we'll go into QGIS and again we'll try to import the image and see what happens. So this is the image too. And if I image, import that image, you can see the question mark here and it says that the image has no referencing system. So we have to georeference the image. So to georeference, again we'll go into the referencer and import the image and now we have these control points so we have to use those control points to add coordinate numbers so so we will start adding points by clicking on this button and clicking on this point so here we have to give the x coordinate and the y coordinate and we have to make sure the coordinate system is correct. So in this case, we are georeferencing an image that we got from Google Earth Pro, which is a Google Earth image. So the coordinate system of Google Earth image is WGS 1984. So we have to select WGS 1984 in this case. So here we have to give the X value. X value is the longitude value. To get the longitude value, we have to again go into Google Earth Pro and go into the properties of the place mark. So to go into properties, hover your mouse, hover your cursor on the place mark, right click and go into properties. So enter these values in into the control points. Then click on OK and uh, repeat the same process for other control points.
Now in QGIS, you can see the image has been automatically imported. And if we compare with the base map, we can see the image has been correctly georeferenced.